Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Shining Pearl playthrough. Hope you guys are having a good day. If you are, make sure to hit that like button. And fun fact, this is going up the day after Christmas. I'm recording this on the night of Christmas. Breathe. Um, but yeah, there is a little bit of explaining to do. But first, I need to do something because I'm not sure if I can do this at the time of recording. I know that by the time this episode goes up, this is definitely not going to be available. But if I'm not wrong, I have like 30 minutes to do this, so let's do this right now. So yeah, before recording, I just found out that if you type in the code Merry Christmas, uh, like this, you can get um, po another Pokemon statue gift. Uh, but unlike the original, the BDSP Underground statue gift, you get much more in this one. So let's see what we get. Alright, so we have a Pachirisu statue, Lucario statue, Rhyperior statue, Electivire statue, and a Glaceon statue. Unfortunately, this mystery gift was only available until December 25th. So, like, I'm literally recording this on the last day that you can get it. So if you missed out on it, I'm sorry. Again, I only found out about this literally right before I recorded. And it's 11.30 right now, so... Just to tell, just to let you know how last minute it was. But we're gonna do a quick team recap real quick, and right off the bat, you can see that we have one of our dream team members, a Krandos. Shout out to my cousin for trading me this uh, Krandos. Unfortunately, the nature is not the best. Uh, you could probably change it though. I hope you can. It would be really nice. But Krandos over here, who doesn't have a nickname, has the moves Headbutt, Leer, Focus Energy, and Rock Polish. We have Hazel the Baneri with Double Kick, Quick Attack, After You, and Charm. Robin the Roselia with Absorb, Growth, Stun, Support, and Poison Sting. Astro, the, uh, Primplup, Bubble Beam, Charm, Metal Claw, and Workup. Cascade the Manaphy with Tail Glow, Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam, Charm, and Supersonic. And finally, NL the Luxio with Bite, Leer, Spark, and Charge, which I think is going to evolve next level, so... That's pretty hype. All right, so we're gonna go explore the uh, Celestion Tower or the Pokemon Tower, whatever you want to call it. While we're doing this, I'm gonna explain a little bit of stuff. Uh, first of all, I'm recording this again on uh, Christmas uh, Day. This is going up uh, after Christmas, so I hope you guys had a good Christmas. If you're not celebrating, then I hope you had a good holiday. Whatever you do, celebrate Hanukkah, whatever. But yeah, also the New Year's is creeping up, 2022, which is pretty, pretty hype. Let me know what you guys are excited for in the in the next year. But yeah, I want to quickly talk about what, what happened with the series, why it kind of got uh, all over the place. Pretty much a lot of things have been going around uh, in real life and with the YouTube stuff. So things got a little overwhelming, um, so I decided to push Shining Pearl back a little bit until I get everything together, uh, get my head uh, in the right place. I just needed uh, to take a step back, you know? Uh, sometimes you have to uh, hold your horses, put them in the back. But don't worry, we're back in business. Uh, we're gonna be back to uploading the series consistently. Um, but expect a schedule change pretty soon because if you guys don't know, on my main channel, I am doing a Pokemon Red 721 Hardcore Nuzlocke, which is a lot of words. So yeah, I'm doing that Hardcore Nuzlocke live, and I'm working on editing down the streams into, like, 20-minute videos to upload on this channel. So I'm looking for some room to throw that series in. So from three uploads a week for Shining Pearl, I think I'm going to go down to two, and then... Uh, that series is gonna happen, and then I also have the series with Icy Richards, Icy Richard that's starting soon, so look forward to that. So there's a lot coming, it's just gonna take a little while, um, but I'm excited to bring all this good stuff for you guys, because there's a lot. There's a lot that I have planned, and I'm very excited. But yeah, if you ever wanna do if you ever do want to check out the uh, Hardcore Nuzlocke Live, I, I do stream it on my main channel every Friday. Uh, so go to one of the links in the description. It's like around the bottom where all my social media is. So go subscribe to my main channel. Um, 
which fun fact actually just recently hit 600 subscribers so if you guys are subscribed to the main channel uh thank you for the support on there yo okay we're getting a low bunny that actually caught me off guard <laughs> all right oh that caught me off guard uh my you see this one hair this this one strand is just always there Look at you! Dude, I freaking love Low Bunny. Such a good Pokemon. I didn't expect it to evolve, honestly. <laughs> it once learned Baton Pass. He's like, are you sure? You sure you don't want the Baton Pass? But here we go, we also cut the Ghastly. I'm not gonna nickname it, I just wanted to have it on the Pokedex. In the Pokedex, rather. But yeah, I'm glad to be back into this game. Um... I've missed playing it. Again, I took that little break. Uh, but I'm just glad to be recording it again, because the game is beautiful. It's so much fun. Um, yeah. It's headbutt. That should, that should do some good damage. Gonna go for acid armor? What was that? Yeah, it's gonna lower my. Oh wow! I'm I'm not I'm not thick enough for this. I can't afford losing special defense. All right. But yeah, I'm so happy to have uh, the dream team coming along. Literally, all we need is, I think, just a Ralts. Just a Ralts. Get it to a Gallade, and we're done. Right? This is probably gonna be the fifth time I go over this dream team. Gallade, Rose Raid, Rampardos. Low Punny and Polion. Which one am I forgetting? Let me find my sticky notes. So that's that's usually that's where it should be. Glyscore, right? Glyscore. Actually, no. I have a Glyscore, or I have a Glygar in my PC, which again, my cousin traded it to me. Uh, but. Yeah, I have a Gligar, the only issue is that it's very overleveled, so I probably can't use it at this point of the game. Um, and also, I don't have the Razor Fang, so I'm gonna need to get that, and then add, add the Gligar at the point where now I can use it, and then evolve it into a Gliscor. But that's not gonna be until like the 5th, not, no, not even, like the 7th gym. Is when I'm probably gonna be able to use that. We have an Oval Stone, which is good if we get a the Hapini. Wait, did I ever hatch the egg? I don't think I ever hatched the egg. Yeah, I never did that. Um, we're gonna temporarily take off Robin just so we can hatch this egg. I'm not expecting any Water Type trainers soon. I don't really need to worry about not having Robin right now. By the way, that Jack that. Yeah, that's a jacket, whatever. With the Gyarados on the back, that looks really cool. Where can I get one of those? The, the swag. I mean, speaking of the swag, uh, we're close to Veilstone where we can uh, put on the Platinum outfit or even buy our own clothes. Which is uh, exciting. I'm very excited to finally have some winter clothes, even though... That's pretty ironic, because I, in real life, I hate winter clothing. Like, I hate long pants, I hate, like, coats, and... Ugh. It's too much for me. We're going into a double battle. Dang it! I did not want to do this double battle. I really didn't want to do it. Pony time, Weasel! Ah. Oh well, there, there's the water type. But let's be fair, I mean, we have Luxray. We do have Luxray on our side. Um, so let's, let's go out into Luxray. And then we need... Oh, Lopunny! <laughs> it's sleeping while standing up, that's so cute. Actually, why am I, why am I killing that? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna wake up, no. right? Right, Hazel? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's okay, you can rest. You, uh, learn my attack. I don't like it. I don't like that. 
considering both of the Mons are on the field are um, physical attackers. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about. I was going to talk about this. Uh, I was going to record a few days ago, but I didn't get to. Because, again, all the stuff that was going on. But I watched two things recently. Uh, first of all, I finished Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, the anime, which, if you guys have not watched it, just do yourself a favor. It is amazing. Um, it's such a good anime. I really enjoyed it. And I think you guys will, too. So, go watch that. Um, and another thing, Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm sure a lot of people... Uh, we're excited about this. I'm sure a lot of people have already watched it. But oh my god, that movie was incredible. I... Like, I don't cry when watching movies. When I watch anime, I cry a lot for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know. But yeah, I don't cry when watching movies, but... Yo, why is she so cute without the hat, by the way? Hello? <laughs> That's actually so cute. Anyways, Luxio is gonna evolve here, right? Called it. Okay, let's try this again. I usually don't cry when I watch movies, but for some reason, like, No Way Home, it hit, like, it was so emotional. Yeah, that honestly might be my, uh, new favorite Mar Marvel movie, because it used to be Endgame, uh, just because I'm not, I'm not big into Marvel, like, I like the movies, I, I'm not gonna consider myself a diehard fan though, because I'm not, by any means, but, yeah, uh, it used to be Endgame, but then, just, that movie hit so hard, um, not just with emotions, but also, like, everything that happened, like, the plot twists and everything. Uh, incredible movie, so go, go watch uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, I can't, I'm trying to keep this as vague as possible, because I want to avoid spoilers. Obviously, the movie just came out about a week ago, a little more than a week ago, so you know, I never, I don't, I don't spoil stuff. I hate spoiling. I hate people who, uh, who spoil stuff to me. I, I said I don't usually cry in movies. I, I didn't cry. I didn't. But I was very close to. Uh, which is also why it might be my new favorite game. Like, uh, movie, sorry. Anything that can get me emotional, I, I fall in love with it. That's another reason why, that's one of the reasons why ReZero is my favorite anime. Uh, cause the emotions that, uh, went through me when watching it, my freaking god. Yeah, ReZero is in my, not the best anime, uh, but it is my favorite of all time. So, man, I gave you guys some homework, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> watch Spider-Man, watch Jutsu Kaisen, watch ReZero. But, like, it's for a reason, you know? It's for a reason. They're all really good. But yeah, I talked about all the plot twists and stuff, uh, which actually reminded me that um, I'm kind of on a podcast. Yeah, if you guys don't know, my good friend uh, G. Scotty, uh, he has the G Squad podcast, and there's there's only two episodes on it. I probably talked about this before, actually. Yeah, there's only two episodes out so far, but I've been on them, and my god, it's it's a ton of fun to record. Um, it, it was a ton of fun to record that, so uh, I hope you guys have uh, fun listening to it. So go to G. Scotty's channel, uh, check out the podcast, because again, it was a lot. Of, it was a really good time, and it's honestly something that I didn't think I would be doing. I mean, it's not something that's permanent, but I never thought I'd be on a podcast, but honestly, I like it. I like it because not only, like, you get to talk about anything, but it, it also, I feel like it, it improved some of my commentary, you know? Because, like, even even Scott said this, said this from, uh, like, between episode one uh, to episode two, 
or like we recorded episode two and he he said uh that i did so much better in the second episode which is a good thing i mean if it helps my commentary i would love to do it more and more uh especially for videos like this where i'm just solo it's only me talking to you guys but yeah it's, it's a good it's a good feeling it's a good feeling uh, also, I think we put someone out, someone else uh, to walk with us. Let's let's do Crandidos. I want I want to see Crandidos uh, walk around. I feel like it could be really cute. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at him go! Oh my god, I love him. Oh, I love him. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. I freaking love Crandidos. Actually, I did get a few strength TMs, so let's. Teach that to a few Pokemon. I'm gonna teach it, of course, to uh, Hazel. I'm gonna get rid of Quick Attack just because I, I'm very fast. Hazel's a very speedy boy. Pranados can also learn it, but he has Headbutt. Headbutt's also 80, isn't it? No, it's 70, but it also has the chance to flinch. So okay, we'll we'll just rock with what we have right now. Um, actually, I do want to go up here. Because, uh, the TM... Uh, ooh. Oh! Oh! Yeah, there we go. I think you get rest here. Taking a rest, if I were a bow Pokemon, it would be a roost. You should rest up too. Hey! There we go. Called it. <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna run into? Ponyta! <laughs> I love how my stupid boy said, uh, I think it was either episode 10 or episode 9. I was on my way to Heart Home City, and I said that on Route 208, I think it was, you can catch, um, I said I think I could catch Ponytas here. I did not count encounter a single Ponyta. <laughs> That's... <laughs> so yeah, that was a little funny. Um, oh, is that Flame? Was that Flame Charge? Yeah, that was Flame Charge. Alright, it should go down here. Didn't go down there. That's not good. That's not good. Chat, that's not good. But he, he's gonna go down here. He's gonna go down here. No shot. He's living. Watch it. It would have had like a secret focus band or something. A 10% chance of like 2 HP. Uh, Alright. I think there's also an item up here that we can get. Oh, how did that even happen? I didn't even tilt the stick right, and I somehow got into that battle. It's, a, it's okay, it's okay. Pikachu Clefairy, easy peasy. Pika! Thing is, I'm also trying not to overlevel past the gym, because... We still have a whole route to go through to get to the gym. So I don't want to use... I don't want to overlevel, and I think some of my Pokemon are already up to par. <laughs> so... Yeah, we'll try to ca have these mods catch up first. And in between episodes, I'm going to be uh, leveling up my Kranidos. Just to get him on par. You can't do that. You can't do that to my Hazel. Don't do that. Okay, Kranidos is gonna do some good damage. Disarming voice. Hazel seems like it's, it wants to be petted. Oh, that's cute. Alright, there we go. So the Pikachu is definitely going down here. Hazel is gonna go through the paralysis. Ooh, let's go. I mean, hey, stab strength from a low pony. I mean, hello? And then uh, Kranidos is gonna finish the Pikachu. Bada bing, bada boom. You don't have another Mon, do you? Wanna learn Scary Face, all right. Keep old moves. Uh, 
Oh wow, we're three minutes in. I think we're gonna call it off right here. Um, I'm gonna sneak behind this guy. Oh, wild encounter, what do we got? Geodude, Geodude. <laughs> okay, um, moving on from that. Alright, let's go pick up this item. It's a great ball, nice. Alright, alright, alright. So that is gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great Pokemon content. Again, the Red 721 Hardcore Nuzlocke is gonna start on this channel very soon. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, but for now, thank you everybody so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Take care.